Hey folks, Jeff Nix here with MrSkeleton.com. Today we're going to give you a demo of the new lightweight, blow molded, almost life size skeleton that's in the marketplace. Um, this is very nice actually. Overall, the quality is good. It's fairly anatomically accurate. Um, I did mention that it's almost full size. Uh, its build is being five foot tall. It's actually a few inches shorter than that. And I'm going to stand it up here in a minute and show it to you. Uh, it's very lightweight. It's about five and a half or six pounds, depending on which one you get. And there it is, standing next to me. I'm five foot ten. There it is. Uh, if you I said blow molded, if you know about the uh, blucky skeleton that's on the marketplace sold by Oriental Trading, you know it's a very thin wall material and you can collapse it fairly easily so it damages easily. This is actually pretty thick. I'm bearing into that and I can't even budge it. Um, overall the thickness of the material is consistent. The head's pretty thick. Um, it's an ABS plastic although it's a lightweight plastic but it seems to be fairly durable. The only weak link here is of course the assembly method which we'll get into a little bit later. So starting at the head there's the skull. It's a little bit bigger than it should be so it looks a little funny on the body overall, but I think that's forgivable given the nature of the of the item. It's mounted there with two screws. There's one on each side through the vertebrae. And then of course there's the bolt at the top. And that threaded rod goes all the way down to the bottom. It kind of makes for your main assembly to hold this bad boy together. Um, so we'll start up here with a little bit more of the features. The uh, arm has a single bolt through it, a bolt set and it's as durable as it needs to be for the lightweight and the ribs are attached with these series of staples I'm not sure how clear that's going to focus in so that's a little bit of a weak link you're not going to be able to throw this thing around a lot and if you do you can cover it up with some clothes and uh, abuse it all you want um, the legs here are interesting assembly they've taken and, and cut a, sha uh, a sliver here through the femur and they've got this simple threaded rod here with a standard nut. Um, so it's okay, it's durable, it's kind of unsightly, but cover it up and it looks okay. And of course if you corpse it, then it doesn't matter anyway. Um, this is a standard nut. It probably needs to be a lock washer, or a lock nut I should say, because you're going to lose that in a hurry. Um, otherwise, the uh, knee bends well. The foot has some flexibility to it, as does the hand and the hand has some rotation to it, although your lower arm does not rotate like it would be in the bucky. So overall, it's a pretty nice skeleton. Uh, let's get a bigger shot of it here. And um, here's one uh, giving you the reverse view of it. Pretty good detail, mostly anatomically correct. Now, I've taken this leg here off to show you a little bit more detail about the way that's attached. And here's your single threaded rod. So also this thing uh, comes in this uh, whitewash color that looks a little bit aged. It also comes in a cool green, but it's a little bit funky for my taste. I will not be adding that this year. And then you come down here and it's in this nice black tone. And the coolest thing about this is this is not a painted or a colored variety. It's actually molded in the black ABS. And then, of course, this lightly glitz with this gold tone. So overall, uh, it looks kind of cool with this gold tone on it. I don't know how well that comes in on the picture. But overall, it looks pretty cool. And I'll stand this one up so you can get a, a look at it as well. So there you have it. New improved, lightweight, blow molded skeleton, which we're probably going to be calling the Blucky Light 